In this video, we're going to go through the process of setting the ignition on a XS650 Yamaha. This process is called static timing, which means you set the points without the engine running. Our first step to set the points is to remove this cover and this cover and remove the spark plugs. So let's get started. Before we proceed, you want to make sure that your timing chain has been properly adjusted. You can find a video down in the description on how to do that. If you don't do that, your points won't be accurately set. So I have the covers off and the spark plugs out. And the first thing I want to do is remove my ignition plate and check my timing advance unit. So I'm going to remove that and you can do that by these two big screws. And let that fall. Now that you have the ignition plate off, you want to clean and inspect this area. You want to make sure that the advance unit works. So I can just turn this with my finger. But what you want to do is make sure that this moves freely and that the surfaces are not pitted. If they are, you need to clean them up. And if it's really bad, you need to replace this cam. Like if it's rusted or pitted. I've removed my timing cam journal to inspect it and you can see it's kind of roughed up and all that so I'm gonna polish this up in my lathe a minute and get it nice and smooth. Now that I've polished this thing up real nice and shiny it looks great and usable and I'll reinstall it on the bike. After you've inspected the cam and the advance unit you want to inspect the points. A lot of times they get dirty and stuff and you just need to clean them. You'll also notice that there's wiper brushes. And this one was obviously set way too tight, which puts extra load on the advance unit, making it not work properly. It's really important that you set these correctly. And correctly would be they only touch the upper part of the cam and not the dent in the cam. That will have to be cleaned and corrected or replaced. Then you want to also inspect the condition of the points. A little bit pitted, but we can probably clean those. Those also, or you could just replace them and put new ones on. So after you get this cam all nice and cleaned up, you want to put this uh, ignition plate back on. Make sure the right's on the right side and the left's on the left side. Wiggle this thing in here. Don't worry too much about where you put it. It can only fit in that spot anyway. So we'll put the screws in. Got our wire nicely. I'll rotate my engine around till I see the points open. I'm grab my 14 thousandths feeler gauge. Put them in there. Loosen the screw and adjust the gap. I'm going to rotate the engine around until the points open. I'm going to loosen up this screw, and you don't want it too loose. Adjust my gap to 14 thousandths. That feels pretty good. And then I'm going to tighten the screw. Okay, that's a quick way to set the gap on the points. I made a test light of an old bulb and a couple of alligator clips. In order for this to work, I have to have the ignition on so that there's power to the points. Where I hook it up is to the points, right there, and I ground the other side to one of the fins on the cylinder. I'll turn the ignition on as I rotate this thing. When the points are open, the light will be on. And when the points close, it will go off. Keep in mind that when the points open is when the spark sparks. Now we actually have to set the timing and we'll do that by loosening these screws and adjusting the whole thing so that the light comes on right when the fire mark lines up. So to check this, you want to rotate the crank. Check it a couple of times and see if the fire mark lines up. That one's set pretty good. So after I've done that side, I'm gonna move my positive connection of my light to the other set of points. 
I'm going to rotate the engine around until these set of points start to open. And that one's kind of off, so we'll back this thing up, line up the mark right there, and adjust the other set of points. To adjust that set of points, I'm going to move this plate, and it's fastened down by these two screws right here. Lock that down. So to check this, I'm going to rotate the crank, and check it a couple of times, and see if the fire mark lines up. That one's set pretty good. Now that I got the spark plugs back in, turn the key on, a little bit of choke. fires right up. This process is called static timing which means you set the points without the engine running. In my next video I will show you a process called dynamic timing which means you adjust the ignition while the engine's running. This will greatly improve the ease of starting and the performance while you're riding. Check below in the description for a link. Leave a comment below. Like it. Share it. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.